Alrighty, today I'm working on a stack of Missile Command boards. Um, I've already repaired two of them. They were pretty much just simple RAM problems and uh, nothing really to videotape there. This one though, looks like it's got maybe a sync problem or something. So um, I've got uh, the ROMs installed and Poke installed and the processor installed. And this uh, ROM here has an X on it, so it may or may not be good. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But the um, screen shows like a, a sync problem, so that's where I'll begin. All right, well, you can see I have the sync problem figured out. Um, it was a bad crystal. I replaced the crystal. The old one had a uh, broken internal leg. So now, um, now the self-test is reporting RAM errors. It's giving me RAM errors for these two RAMs here. So I guess the next thing I'll do is I'll chop these out and replace these with sockets, install these with sockets. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna probe and see what the pin 14s look like. Those are the outputs, outputs for these guys um, to, to see if they look like they're doing full swings. If, the, if they're not doing full swings, then yes, those RAMs are definitely bad. If they are, then there might be a logic problem that's causing the beeps and I'll do a little bit of probing before I just blindly replace them. All right, so I got self-test running. Um, I only replaced one of the RAMs based on what I saw on, um, on the scope. This one here had a funny output looking waveform. Um, this one looked fine. So I just replaced this one and bam, got self-test running. Now we've got ROM errors one through five. According to the manual, um, that represents the section of memory, which 2K of, of memory is bad. So one would be the first 2K, I assume. That means the lower address range. Um, and so there's only 12K of RAM or, or 12K of ROM total. So um, each one of these is 2K. So it's telling me five of the six are reporting as bad. Um, since I'm not sure that these ROMs are in the correct order, I don't know if someone just took them out and put them back in randomly. Now, I wrote the numbers down um, before I started, uh, the location numbers of each. Those don't have any bearing on what's actually in the ROMs. I did that before the board was running. So, um, I'm going to guess that the, the, I'm going to assume that the ROM codes are correct and they're just plugged in the wrong order. Uh, if that's the case, uh, as I figure out which one is which, I'll erase, I'll wipe this label off with uh, alcohol and relabel it. Um, so the only one that I know is correct is this one. I, I installed it. So this ROM that I replaced uh, knowing uh, that or assuming it was bad because someone had put an X on it um, may be good. It just may have been plugged in the wrong place. So let me uh, let me see what I can do without, you know, having a fancy machine to tell me what the checksums are. I'll just uh, do them one at a time and try to get them in the right order. Um, and if none of them, uh, if none of them resolve the uh, self-test ROM errors, then um, I guess I'll have to burn new ROMs or come up with something. Okay, so what I ended up doing was taking all the ROMs off of a working board and plugging them in here. And bam, self-test passes. Uh, I've tested the game, game is working. Um, so these ROMs, I'm thinking these ROMs may actually be good. It just has a different version of the software. I, I don't know. Um, these may have a very old version where um, only five high scores were saved. Um, they later had a later they had a later version of the software where it would store eight high scores. So this one may be the five high score version of the of the firmware. Um, and that the R4, or I'm sorry, the R1 uh, ROM with the X on it is either the wrong one or is bad. And that's why it's not running. So the board will not boot without certain ROMs in there. And these ROMs feel the need for that. So I'm thinking the ROMs may be good. It's just the wrong version of the software, not compatible. And, it, and that chipset um, is not compatible with this one. I can't mix and match, in other words. And, and the, the R1 uh, code is bad. So, but, the, but the thing is this board is, is working and that was my goal for this video.